Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, PGTRB Physics Lab Unit 10 Electronics learned RAM, Static RAM and Dynamic RAM are important points discuss. Okay, so let us discuss the RAM. If RAM is so we already very well know RAM. What is RAM? Tell you Random Access Memory. The RAM. This is what we sometimes in the EC method questions like that. RAM na enna or expansion enna abdin suli to okay ba. So random access memory. Then read and write in the random access memory enna seyu abdin suli paatham na read and write memory also. Read and write memory no ida vande solvanga. Also called ya R by R slash W memory no solvanga. That is read and write memory. So information can be read from this memory and also can be written during normal operation. Okay. So informations, informations like na pannu idha na akurukre information read panni uh, from this memory larende and also can be written. Ena mo pannu write to pannu. Okay, wa normal operation da. It is random access property. Yena na solvanga random access property na solvo. So it is uh, RAM any memory location can be accessed. Okay, so yeh RAM am ena na yenda memory location vena na pannu ko idha vande the access pannu ko. So, it is a volatile in nature. So, it is very important to one mark. So, volatile in nature is a volatile in nature. It uh, retains stored information as long, long as the power supply is on. Okay. So, when the power supply is on, it is not a the power supply is on. Okay. So, when the power supply is switched off, its content is also lost. Power supply is on, it is lost. Okay. Power supply on, it is on, long time. Function I it is a volatile in nature. Okay. Then next step. There are the two types of RAM. In a RAM, S RAM, D RAM. S RAM is static RAM and dynamic RAM. S RAM is D RAM. Static RAM, dynamic RAM. Okay. So the static RAM is this memory is made up of flip-flop. Flip-flop path only. We have already flip flop in some previous videos. We have playlists in the playlist. We have a lot of Okay. So, then next in the 10th unit, we have a lot of MCQs. We have a lot of playlists in the playlist. We have a lot of easier. Okay. So, this is a catchy memory. This is a static memory. So, this is the keyword. This is the keyword. Catchy memory is SRAM. SRAM is static RAM. Okay. This is made up of the flip flop. This is a question in the MCQ. It stores the bit as a voltage. This is a bit as a voltage. Each memory called red or 6 transistor. Okay, one memory is called transistor, 6 transistors. So the memory chip has low density. This is a very important point here. Memory log, uh, irukko, memory chip on the low density but a high speed. Static can and patam na static RAM ke, low density and a high speed. Irukko. This memory is more expensive. It is very expensive. Arukko. So consume power. Okay. So under consume more power than the dynamic memory. Dynamic memory compare panam bodu. The static memory ke, na, patam na, low density arukko, high speed arukko, then more expensive arukko. power on the more than arukko, in high speed processor, SRAM, SRAM means what? It's a static RAM. It's known as the catchy memory. Okay, so high speed catchy memory is also included external to the processor to improve the performance of the system. Okay, so then the high speed catchy memory is also included and included like the external to the processor. Okay, the next step. Uh, in SRAM, SRAM is another, it is a static RAM. The stored information are retained as a long as the PC is on. Computer on the day, we are on the day, our information is now long time on the day, store on the day, we are on the day, SRAM. The next is DRAM, DRAM means what? It is a dynamic RAM. Dynamic RAM is not only part of it. This is made up of MOS, okay. So, transistor gates. Uh, the next, it is stored the bit as a change. So, the advantage of this memory or the, uh, that it has high density and low power. The main advantage is in DRAM or the other thing. This is a very important point. First, yes, 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 flip flop, made up of SRAM and made up of flip flop, dynamic RAM and MOS transistor gates. Then, on the SRAM, low density is in the 
லோ டென்சிட்டி ஹை ஸ்பீடு இந்த டிரம் பார்த்தோம்னா ஹை டென்சிட்டி அண்ட் லோ பவர் ஓகே ஸோ கன்சம்ஷன் அண்ட் சீப்பர் தேன் ஸ்டாட்டிக் மெமரி ஓகே த நெக்ஸ்ட் சீப்பர் இந்த ஸ்டாட்டிக் மெமரி கம்பேர் பண்ணும்போது வந்து டிரம் வந்து வந்து ரொம்ப சீப்பர் தானா இருக்கும் ஸோ ஒரு மெயின் டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜஸ் என்னன்னா சார்ஜ் வந்து இதில் லீக் ஆகும் ஓகேவா ஹை டென்சிட்டிஸ் இருக்கிறதுனால தென் ஆகும் சார்ஜ் வந்துட்டு லீக் ஆகும் த ஸ்டோர்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் நீட்ஸ் டு பி ரீட் அண்ட் ரிட்டர்ன் அண்ட் அகைன் எவ்ரி மில்லி செகண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இது இது ரொம்ப நமக்கு இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் த ஸ்டோர்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் வந்து என்ன ஆகும் அதுக்கு ரொம்ப என்ன தேவைனா ரீட் அண்ட் ரைட் அகைன் எவ்ரி மில்லி செகண்ட்ஸுக்கும் திருப்பி திருப்பி நம்ம என்ன கொடுக்கணும் ஸ்டோர் பண்ணிகிட்டே இருக்கணும் திஸ் இஸ் கால்டு த ரிஃப்ரெஷிங் த மெமரி அப்பப்போ நம்ம என்ன பண்ணிட்டே இருக்கணும் இதை ரிஃப்ரெஷ் பண்ணிக்கிட்டே இருக்கணும் அதான் இதோட மெயின் disadvantage and the next for small system the static memory is superb rate okay so in comparison to processor speed the dram is too slow dram the app for refresh panite irundha na avanga romba slow va da irukum so dram is too slow okay comparing with the sram okay uh, its content over lost in a very short time even though the power supply is on so okay content vandu romba short time a irukum power supply power supply vandu on la irukum bodume kuda the dram but as ram and the power supply on la irukum bodu avaru instruction ena varaku long time irukum appdi solli paathom so the comparison is very important one konni compare panni padikum bodu definitely you never forget okay so the next step, 0 and 1 are bit so bit na enna bytes na enna idu use panni eppadi ellam problems kekpaanga adhu namm already discuss pannirukom so and the videos la neenga step by step paathu unga notebook la return pannikena romba helpful ah irukum okay va so 0 and 1 are bit bit engal enada binary digit So, 8 bits is equal to what? 1 byte. So, we have repeated a number of times in previous year questions. Okay. 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobytes. 1024 kilobytes is equal to what? 1 gigabytes. Okay. So, and, uh, 1024 gigabytes is equal to 1 terabytes. First, kilobytes, then giga, kilo, giga, tera. Okay. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. This is very important. So, in the... இந்த இதுல இருந்து இந்த டாபிக் வந்து நமக்கு நிறைய ஒன் மார்க்குக்கான ஆன்சர்ஸ் நம்ம வந்துட்டு ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணலாம் ஓகேவா ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் எனி டவுட் மீன்ஸ் குட் இன் டு த கமெண்ட் ஒர்க்ஸ் தேங்க்யூ ஆல் த பெ